Debian 13 is here and it's insane. After two years, Debian has finally released its new stable version, codenamed as Trixie, packed with fresh updates and features. Now let's go ahead and discuss the all new features of Debian 13 Trixie. The Debian installer in Trixie gets major upgrades. It now supports HTTP boot on UFI and U-Boot systems, letting users install Debian directly from the web without the need of USB boot. It also adds BTRFS rescue support for systems installed with Calamares, fixing a previous limitation. Debian 13 brings support for Apple Silicon Macs with new drivers for Media Transfer Protocol and SPI Keyboards. Also, Secure Boot just got better with Shim signed package on AMD64 and ARM64. Debian 13 includes major updates to all popular desktop environments offering new features and better performance. GNOME 48 adds tools for digital well-being like screen time limits, grayscale mode, and movement reminders. It also brings fill-end color management, HDR support on compatible displays, better fractional scaling and smoother performance with dynamic triple buffering. On the other side, KDE Plasma 6.3 brings better fractional scaling with improved pixel alignment, reducing blurriness and visual gaps. Debian 13 is moving further towards Finland improving graphics performance and fixing XORG compatibility issues. Valent is now more stable in Debian 13, so users can expect smoother visuals, less input delay, and better support for high-resolution displays. Debian 13 comes with APT 3.0, if you often use apt commands, you will notice the upgrade right away. apt3 has a much better interface. It now uses color to highlight package dependencies and has better padding and spacing, making it easier to read. The compared to package managers like Pacman or DNF, this update makes the apt interface feel more intuitive and user-friendly. Debian 13 comes with the Linux kernel 6.12 LTS, making a significant jump from 6.1 in Debian 12. Now, this new LTS kernel receives extended support and security updates for years to come. It brings some improvements for Intel Arrow and Lunar Lake processors and enhanced laptop support. Additional improvements include AMD or DNA 4 hardware support. Raspberry Pi 5 compatibility, and various performance optimizations across the system. The kernel update keeps Debian 13 compatible with modern hardware while preserving its long-term stability. Debian 13 now officially supports the RISC-V architecture, allowing full Debian functionality on 64-bit RISC-V hardware. RISC-V is an open-source instruction set which has been growing across embedded systems, IoT, and data centers. Now, with this support, RISC-V devices can access Debian's full package repository and tools, making the platform ready for production usage. Overall, I would say Debian 13 is a major upgrade for Linux users, and it's definitely a solid choice for a daily driver. Now, thanks to the combined efforts of the Debian security and the long-term support team, Debian 13 will receive support for the next 5 years. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the Debian 13? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KS Kirayo. I will see you in the next one.